Hi guys, it's Ruthie and Clay with the Popo Backyard Farm. Clay is working on a puzzle, and I really got a kick out of how he does that. Let me say this before he says anything. Now, when I do a puzzle, isn't it nice of me to say that to you, dear? <laughs> now, when I do a puzzle, I got like pieces all over, but look at how he does it. He like, it's like a wave. <laughs> okay, it, well, I, I were you going to talk and say the same thing I just I said? I match the sizes up. I don't really look so much as the color because it just blinds you with like we're I'm doing giraffes and there are spots for three different giraffes and if I went and did that I'd be here all day trying to find a spot but I look at the shape that's missing and then I go ahead and look for that shape up at the top now the only reason we're doing the the puzzles because it's winter and when you can't get outside and do things you look for things to do inside. And a puzzle is a nice thing to do. I made up a board. I took off in the box of, uh, for the size, it's 27 by 19. So I made a 32 by 24 board and put a framework under it, a plywood. And that way your whole picture is nice and flat. And if you had to move it, you could move the board and all. So that's what I did for that. Because we put it on the table, one of our folding tables. It's, it's still and the on. Folding ta and this is the folding table, this black one. It's got so many warps. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it's got so many warps in it that the puzzles wouldn't lay flat. So I made up this board so we could do the puzzles on the board. And we'll just mark puzzles only on this board, so when we do some other puzzles... We'll, well you said you are going to put it in the storage room. Yeah, we're just going to store the, the board when we're not doing puzzles in the furnace room. So that in the winter, when we're bored and it's snowing outside and you can't do anything, you can't even snow blow because you got so much... Let me pause snow and let them see the snow for a second. Well, you can do that. At I'll the do end it in another video, video guys, because you guys don't want to see snow. You'll we see haven't it. got a lot of snow. It's right now. It's only about four inches. Yeah. But it's supposed to snow all day today, so it'll probably be a foot by the time I get out there tomorrow. But this is what I do to keep myself busy in the winter, so I, you don't get cabin fever and go stir crazy. Talk about the containers. Well, I bought some uh, Ziploc containers. And we're, we sorted all the, the colors out. I've got blue in one and black in another. And I've got the, the tan, tan grass and the giraffe pieces in another. I've emptied one of them. So. But it lets you stay ahead of the game. And with the, the cat we've got, she's going through her terrible twos. And if you let her, she will mess up your puzzle just by kicking them all over the floor. So what I also do is when I'm done, I've got another sheet of plywood I just lay over top of the puzzle. Until I decide I'm going to sit down and do more. But She's under the table right now. She's going through her terrible twos. She'll take a nap. If I go and take a nap in the chair, she'll get up on me and take a nap with me. But there's times that she won't do that, and she's just running through the house <laughs> tearing everything up. And that's exactly what a two-year-old would do. So that's why we say she's in her terrible twos. We named her Precious because... I guess she's precious to us, but it, I call as a nickname, I just call her Ethel. When she's being bad and when she won't sit still. Because what she'll do is she'll get up on me while I'm trying to take a nap and she'll sit there and clean herself. Until she winds down and decides she's going to go to sleep. And I call her Ethel because of Lucy and Ethel. Ethel is uh, Lucy's partner in crime and that's what she is, a partner in crime. <laughs> so I just nickname her Ethel when she's being naughty. But she was the kitten that she was a stray and she jumped up and she wanted to be patted and be like she acted like we've owned her forever so she found a home with us. And there's three. And there's a, she's a pain that's for sure. And there's always cats running this neighborhood. I think half the neighbors must feed them or something but they're always roaming. It's time for me to 
but he's Start working. But I got a, I got a kick out of how he was doing the puzzle because uh, I was putting pieces together, and I got a little frustrated with this. Because well, I I've done so many of these things. And I kind of taught myself is don't uh, don't look at the color, look at the shapes, because it'll keep you from going stir crazy. Well, I looked at this puzzle and I was working on it because I would do more like the color and stuff. And there was so much uh, murky, like it's like so much blue. So it's a thousand piece puzzle. So much green, and I was I only had a few minutes to work uh, on the I, puzzle. I, I thought, keep oh. sorting them because. I sorted them out so that they were uh, tan and giraffe colored and anything that was even if it had a piece of the giraffe on it and it was like blue I would take and put those aside for now now I'm at to the point where I need to start getting some more pieces out and dollar uh, Family Dollar has is it Family Dollar? Yeah, we get them at the no, we get them at Dollar General. They have puzzles for five bucks, so I thought, hey, for thousand, now for a thousand piece puzzle, they did it for the Christmas holidays. So yeah, I'm not they sure they probably what, won't be there much longer. So I thought, hey, that's a nice little hobby to, and he Clay likes the nature stuff. I'm gonna show him the the uh, well, we did giraffes a, behind you. We did a. We like the nature stuff. I like all the animals. So, so. so he he really enjoyed. Uh, he's enjoying. I like the puzzle too. It's just I was getting frustrated with uh, so much. Um, I still got more colors. The same kind of thing. It's like doing a white puzzle. <laughs> These have all got giraffe pieces on them. So. But this might be the last puzzle we do. We were talking about that too. For this winter, yeah. We'll then we probably, might paint or something. But we'll still pick some up for next winter and whatever. Yeah, and we might paint or do something different here. If we're all still alive by that time. Who knows? <laughs> we'll be alive. If the Lord doesn't come back, we'll be alive either way. But uh, You just hope, hope that everything will be all right. Yeah, it'll be good. It's all good. But anyway, uh, there you go, guys. Go uh, puzzle. Thought you guys might enjoy seeing how he does the puzzle because I think it's pretty unique. It's, I've worked puzzles with other people, and we usually have all the pieces all over. But Clay works it just like it's all creeping up. <laughs> well, we've got we've got little bins of the sky all blue, and I'm not gonna mess with that till I get this part done. When I get down to where it's going to be green and black again, then I'll start working with the green and the black. And that'll be around the giraffes and around the, the prairie part. So pray that we find some great deals on puzzles, that we find puzzles we like. Well, you can do the same thing. Yeah, and do some enjoy. puzzles yourself. Put them up on YouTube. You know. But before you buy a bunch of puzzles, look on the puzzle, it'll tell the size and shape. You might want to make up a board. That way, if you've got a... A table that you want to work on, like this one here, is a little four by four card table, and you don't want it setting out. Say you're going to entertain guests, you can always move the whole puzzle on the board into another room where it's not being in can, the way. You can buy puzzle boards, but I like this better because we're both working on it and it's got containers. I like this. Well, we bought the containers. All they are is. A, is the Ziploc yeah. containers that there's like a whole big pack kitchen. for five dollars and the rest I'm using when I'm baking. Okay guys, so with that, remember Hope you enjoyed this and maybe it'll give you a few ideas on what you can do for your being cooped up and with cabin fever. <laughs> <laughs> so remember big or small. You too can be a backyard farm. God bless.